You gotta wake up at five for what? No, I'm just joking. These hoes keep calling, I ain't picking up. You ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, introduce this weak ass video. Yo, introduce it. Let them know what we're doing. I gotta pull up the questions, bro. They just keep coming. Pause. Oh, man. No pause. What's good, everybody? <laughs> Cut that out. Yeah, we can say it. You I, so tipsy. Damn. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Okay. You wanna okay. try one more time? Yeah. A little bit. There we go. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Rob Buckets with the one and only. If you gonna do this, I'm gonna walk off the set. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to have a Jay Jones. I'm trying to do something with you. I'm boss. here with the one and only Jay Jones. Okay, is that is that fine? No, just say you just here with me. <laughs> we gonna do a week Q and A. Oh, it's week. Damn. It depends Everybody, on the questions. Oh, look, all these, all these questions. You just said that week, so um. It depends. If they spam you with the, the, the triple, like the if they four. spam you with that, talk about the EP and all that, I'm not answering. I'm just gonna look. Okay, I'll answer for you. Okay, you can. But anyway, we got a Q and A today. Um, we're gonna get right to it. I don't know if you wanna start off with that. No, start off with a banger. Right, cool, cool, cool. If it's lit, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce your name. Damn, I wish I knew how to pronounce your name, bro. But um, I'll put it up on the screen. How to slide in girls DM. Wow. Mm -hmm. Tell him. What's his name? Oh, you just you said you just don't. Zan Jatio. No, yeah, that's his fine. Um, is that a really a question? For me, it is. But I don't have the answer. Why are you smirking? Dude, help him out. This is your this is your stuff. I'm just here in assistance. You can help me out. Oh. Based off where I'm at right now, uh, I need some advice on how to okay. meet someone new, how to. Um, you know, possibly slide in someone's DMs, talk to them, help me, help me. Oh, what would you do? Well, help me. I out. don't got it because I don't know I'm how to know, but I'm gonna give you my best advice. Okay. Um, this is advice coming from how old are you? 20. Okay, good, good. That's right, yeah. Okay, help me out. Oh, wow. No, well, I'm just saying, no. no Not yet. So, um, you never want to be too, um, aggressive, you know what I mean? Because that can kind of rub them the wrong way. Am I right? I don't know. Keep going. It depends. Some some chicks like guys. Some do. Okay. Some like that, but more than a, more majority of the time, it's not always the aggressive shit that's gonna get through. Yeah. Play it smooth. You wanna be their friend first. You know what I'm saying? Unless you with that, you just wanna smash it. That now. Just be aggressive. Do what you gotta do. But um, if you really want some. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You know what I'm saying. Nah. They you don't. ask him. <laughs> We don't know what you're saying. What you mean? What should, okay, what bro, should you Bro, you with a slow approach, you try to be their friend first. Okay. Do you agree with that? Yes, but give me a you line. You hop into, oh, you want a punchline. Or just some type of general, like, advice, really. Because you just saying, okay, I get the. We can use the one you gave me. What? Huh? Or did I just put you on the spot? What do you mean? When I asked you, mom. Um, moving on. I'm cutting that shit the fuck <laughs> yeah, out. What are you doing? Cutting that out. But, um. You bugging. I'm you bugging. Word to my father. You are <laughs> bugging, son. You are bugging. Listen, though. I don't really know what to say in, in you know, regards to the DM stuff. Just be yourself. That's the best advice, honestly. If you're right. going to talk to somebody you're, you're interested in, just, just be honest about what your intentions are. Say, I would like to talk to you. I would like to get to know you. Uh, just be yourself. Yeah. I have a profile picture. Wow. No, for real. Cause so that a girl. Move on. Just girl? Move. Just right, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Next question. Uh, Mar dot cell favorite shooter hooping. Currently. Yeah. Kyrie for sure. Kyrie six. Mm-hmm. Or is that the five? That's the six. That's the six. Mm-hmm. Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie six. That's yours too. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be like me. That's just yours. Okay. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> what made you start YouTube? That's a really good question from Kev Ben. Shout out Kev, I know Kev. But um, what made you start YouTube? What made me start? Yeah. Um, well, Trey and I started together. It was a combination of things. It was a combination of uh, us playing basketball at the time more than we were doing a lot of other things. It was us collecting sneakers at the time. It was us um, figuring we could 
have a bond and a closer friendship um, in a way that showed that to you guys as well. And you know, just that combination of things just coming together just allowed us to, you know, feel like we were comfortable enough to get a channel started. Mm -hmm. As far as me, I think just like, you develop, um, what's the word? Is it aspiration? Motivation. What you want? Um, like, they inspire. Yeah, inspiration. Damn, I'm fucked up. Insp inspiration. Yeah. I got inspiration from... You were you inspired guys. by... I was inspired... He's a math, he's an English teacher too. But I was inspired by you guys. Um, just you know, a couple YouTubers here and there, not too many. To just you know, the, the beauty of it is you're yourself. You know, people to, you know what I'm saying, appreciate you and what you bring to the table, and then that's how you develop like a fan base, yeah. like that, because they yeah. they support you and they love you for who you are. I think that's just dope, and I love making videos and shit. Yeah, it is though. Mm -hmm. I just started though, like not even a year. I think a year. But yeah. You gonna make it though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will I be 450? Don't bring it back to me. 5.0. Don't bring it back to me. EP. Will I do that? Will I go platinum now? I didn't. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Next question. Greg uh, G underscore levels. My boy Greg said I'm finna buy a Jeep soon. Is hey. that cap or not? You think? No, I think he's dead ass. Okay. I didn't finish reading it though. I'm finna buy a Jeep soon. Can Jay help at getting... Okay. Oh, there it, it goes. Cap. Yeah, Jay help. Good, good. Can Jay help at getting some female YouTube ride? I need help. I cannot. A, if you knew my story, I legit cannot help at all. Greg, I think you know mine a little bit. I can't help you either. You own half the Bronx, so... I think that was tough. Think so? Yeah. You got it. Bro. You don't want my hey. But the Jeep though, yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Mm -hmm. Next question. This is going with real shit. From Raphael underscore Kag. Where you guys wanna be in five years from now? Hmm. That's a really good question. Yeah, well, five years. I'm every bit of 32. I'm trying to be settled down. Uh multiple wives. No. One wife, bruh. Nice little spot. Um, yeah, man, have my family. We kicking it. You know what I'm saying? On the ground. Real family vibes. Hold like solo vibes right now on the ground. Straight family vibes only. You know, you feel me? Five that's years. That's what I'm, that's, that's the goal, bro. Five years. I can see that, though. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? So that's my goal, bro. You know, just financially stable for the family. Uh, yeah, you know, making some making some big time daddy moves, you feel? Mm, not, you know okay. what I'm saying? Different vibe, you feel me? So as far as me. Um Oh, the, and I want the brand to be crazy. Yeah, before mm, I'm looking for the brand to be crazy. Collab so, with all fighting on the way. But um <laughs> You've been watching too much Dre and Trey, I can tell you that. No, no, no. I deal with this with Greg and Chris. So, like it's just It's just y'all vibe. That's just okay, but I'm gonna let you answer. Five years from now. Hold on, five years from now. You're what, 25? I'm, yeah. That, wow. I want to be, um, I want to get my degree. I want to... In what? Business administration. Okay. That's my major. Um, I, I want to be able to become a solidified uh, YouTuber. You know what I mean? You can do that in one year. If you grow. You can do that in a year and a half. Yeah. Settle down. I'm not trying to wait till I'm... My age, 32 and shit. I didn't you say know, that. That's what you lean into. No, right I was going to say 40. Just say it. Because you do want to sleep here. <laughs> <You know? laughs> nah, but for real, just settle down, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to... I want somebody who, who's going to support me and motivate me. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm not really trying to... Hoes is going to be hoes. You don't need that shit. You don't. You don't. No, I'd rather somebody, you know, who's going to be by my side, you know, who's going to be supporting At 25, me. that would be... Ideal. It's nice. It sounds... It is, that does sound nice. I ain't going to lie, bro. Golly. But I mean, that's where I want to be in five years. Um, Lord underscore Roro. Kobe 8 or Jordan 29? Mm. I don't know that, because I didn't play. The Jordan 29 is probably a better overall shoe. Uh... Why am I talking about this like I want to? 
But yeah, I'm gonna just do it because this is Ross channel. But the Jordan 29 is, is probably for real a better overall shoe. There's not a lot of shoes that's going to be better than the 29. The 34 could get you pretty close, but Jordan's like best shoe to hoop in is probably the 29, bro. Like Trey wasn't capping it when he said that. The 28 is nice, the 34 is nice. The 35 is pretty whack. Um, the, the Kobe 8 though, just the memories that I that I kind of had with the Kobe 8 and where everything you know was at that time, yeah. it's always going to be one of my favorite shoes. Now, is that the best like performance shoe that I've hooped in? No. Nah. Yeah. But for me, if I'm choosing, I'm taking the Kobe 8 just because of the vibes that came with it. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll probably go with the Kobe 8 too, just yeah. aesthetically. Which, that's about it. Because I ain't playing either. I ain't get the opportunity to like some people. Four, five. All right. Um. Next question. Let Rod do sneaker news. Oh, that will be lit though. Next. Next. Antonio. That will be lit though. We have you on a segment of sneaker news. When you gonna try, when you gonna come back down here? Why don't you try to come back down in December? I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna make that happen. I get you half on your flight. Hey, this is all an investment. I told you once you. I didn't. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? No, you didn't. Well, no. I'm telling you to tell them what I told you. You told me a lot of shit though. But I'm telling you the main thing. If when you get on the plane, the first thing I want you to think about is if you make a million, how much am I gonna take? Five thousand. That's it. That's all I want. That's all I need. You can talk to Dre about what you want to split. He, he like, yo, I'm gonna have you play. I know I'm getting that five hundred. <laughs> that's what I hey, that's yeah. the deal. Antonio, I'm gonna let you slide. <laughs> Next question. I'm, this is a question for me too. When is House coming to NYC? Oh, uh, I, I see need that. a double XL and that never fold drop. I don't know if they come that size. Let me know. I'm down to buy. Uh, I feel like we had a couple uh, double XL shirts. I think I can look, but when it, I'm, I don't plan on going to New York City anytime soon, just to be going. Yeah. If there's a business opportunity, of course I will. But uh, there will be. But... I, I mean, you know, God's plan. You feel me? Like if that's the, if that's what that brings, then I will. But New York is not my favorite place to go. I'm gonna be honest. I got a lot of love for New York people, uh, but it just, especially around this time, it just gets a little too cold for me, bro. Oh, you talking about season? Yeah. yeah, like around this time, bro. I just yeah. The winter fits would be tough though. They do. Like bubble I bubble coat. You know what I'm saying? Some nice. Boy. Man, I had on the trench coat one time with the uh, with the weak forces, I, and I was on the strip. I felt like I was I was doing some fit. wasn't that hard, but I felt like it it was because of the New York vibe. Hey, now let me. The fit might not. All right, the fit might have been a six out of ten, right? That's yeah. not that hard. All right, the fine is not as hard. Six out of ten. No, no, it's not. But. Six out of ten, but you are JG. Nope, nope. Triple J, so it do go up. No, it actually drops though, because if I'm JG Jones, whatever y'all call me, my fit should have automatically been an eight off the rip. No, but that just shows. But I wouldn't. You could turn a weak fit into a solid ass fit. No, I can't do that. But that doesn't. No, no, that ain't saying much though. Like the swag, the wolf. You know what I'm saying? A lot come with clothes. It ain't about that. The swag that you. It ain't about that. You can have a fire ass fit and still be a bum ass nigga. No facts. We know that. That's what I'm saying. You got the swag, though. Nah, it's not don't, really. Don't do that to yourself. You got the swag. It's not really about the swag. It's just about like um, the vibes. Like who gonna gas you? Like you gas, you gas me a lot. So you by the same shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> by default, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the fit is a 7.5 at that point. It's still good. because of the vibes. That's what I was saying. Because you, of the you vibes. know the vibes. Though. I know the vibes. Well, your fit sometimes. All right, um, but yeah, the winner, the winner joints in New York. Yeah, y'all be dressing though. Um, from my boy Jr. Any tips for people who want to succeed like you and Jay? Now let's just take out the like you and Jay part and just you know you can just take out both of us. Yeah, the you and Jay. You can take um, that out. Okay. And then advice for people who want to succeed. Yep. Mm -hmm. What you got? I ain't gonna put me on the spot like that. I, I haven't really something. succeeded yet though. How you Honestly, that? you've done something where you felt successful after doing it. Hard you work. Can't. All right, yeah, real shit. Hard work. You gotta. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll answer this. Um, there's gonna be people who are gonna want to put you down, just off the fact that they live in fear, as in they're fear fearful to do it. So when they see somebody else do it, they're quick to just you ain't doing that. 
So you just have to, and this is with anything, you just have to mentally put yourself over the like over the hunch. Don't you gotta clear everybody out and tell yourself that you can do it. And then I promise you, you gotta see for it. You gotta nuke it or what? Yeah. Um, um, a nuke is a little hard because it's 30 kill streak. That's where you're at. Not everybody's there, but we will do this. You can get a five kill streak, right? That's the Predator missile. You can do that. A trophy system is not going to stop it. EOD is not going to stop it. Yeah. Now the EOD and the um trophy system, that's the people who are fearful to, to you know, take that, that risk, that jump, that's them. That Predator missile, that's you clearing them out and you got it. That's good. What's the question again? How um how long? No. Any tips for people who want to succeed? Oh, you. So you're talking about haters. Uh, I'm. A, I'm yeah. A, I'm uh -huh. talking about the haters. Cause you know people are quick to. Yeah. Once they it. hear things, they're they're quick to just give up. Read the question one more time. Though. Any tips for people who want to succeed? Um, if you really want to succeed, you have to be consistent. Um. That's the easiest, that's probably the, the best advice, advice that I can give you. And I don't even listen to this advice myself sometimes. You, you know how I've been. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, if you really want to succeed, a lot of success comes with a lot of people. Like a lot of the people who are successful, they're really consistent, bro. Uh, with, with whatever it is you're trying to do to be successful. Like if you're trying to hoop, you gotta be consistent at ball. If you're trying to be the fastest typer in America, you gotta be, you know, consistent on the keyboard. Like you have to be consistent if you want to be successful. Right. All right. This is the last one. Yeah. So one of them is how long have you and Jay been knowing each other for, and how you met Jay? So I'm gonna just take them two questions. Let's put them okay. Excuse me. I'm gonna say around 20. I knew it was like my freshman year in college, 2017, 2018. I think I had DM'd him or tagged him in one of my videos and he liked it and I DM'd him on some, you know. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Some, um, some fanboy stuff. Some fanboy shit, hey, fuck it. No, it's cool. Yeah, and then, um, just leading on as time progresses, this is, um, 2018-ish. I think he had said something about playing Fortnite, I think. I was like, yo, we should run. I remember that. Damn, I forgot about that, though. He was like, yeah. That's, that's for sure 2018. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, bro, we could run. I don't think we ever got to, but as time just went on and I, we ended up meeting. At the Iverson joint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In New York. And I would just always reach out, cause you know, just, you know, just, it's fanboy shit. No, no, at that point it wasn't fanboy. Like we don't already, think so? No, it was fanboy to do it initially. After that, mm -hmm. it's, it's more like, Okay, I know this person. He's a he's a true supporter in what I what I believe in. So I wanna I wanna mess with him back. Pause. Right, right. I wanna be able to show support since he's supporting me. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a cool vibe. That's that's a different energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, then we met at the Iverson joint, and it was weird because you you were on my team, and you know yeah. what I'm saying they could have picked anybody to be on my squad. Honestly, I didn't pick the squad. Yeah, because I had asked him. I was like, Yo, did you? I was like, You can be honest. Did, did you pick the team or was that shit random? You told me it was just random. random. Yeah. And that's kind of crazy in Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, that's, that's different, you know? And that was, I'm going to say, like, today of last year. Yeah. Yep, so it's been a year. Mm-hmm. And then just through the Dre streams and just everything leading up to, and then here we are now, a year later. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to say a total of, we're going to be technical. Three years? Yeah, I was going to say three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can read it. We can try to tackle it. That's a tough question. But we can try to tackle it. Try to tackle it. Come on, read it. All right. Should I put his name out? Nah. Uh. Nah. nah. All right. So we got a question. Um, how do you find your purpose in life? I feel lost and feel like I have nothing going for me in the future. I feel like you should tackle this one. Honestly. Okay. Purpose in life. Okay. So. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, let me start from the end of the question. He said he he feels lost. Um, automatically, if you feel lost, you're not going to be able to focus on your purpose. And I'm putting purpose in quotations 
because yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you feel lost, the first thing you want to do is take a step back from everything. Right. Because if you take a step back from everything, then you can kind of visualize a little better. You just have a better headspace mentally. You can talk to people a little better. You, you're just more comfortable with yourself. Uh, I've been feeling lost lately. The, do I think that's affecting my, uh, my purpose? Not really. Uh, and that's not to say that I just know what my purpose is. But I know that a big part of who I am is to help others and, um, you know, be motivational in a way that, you know, help helps people know that, you know, they can they, they can succeed and, you know, do what I'm doing and, and still, you know, what I'm saying have a great life, bro. Right. Like that's I feel like that's my purpose. Yeah. I didn't know that in 2012. Right. Um, mm -hmm. That may change. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like that's that's been like my purpose overall. But I feel like there's some other things that I could also say, you know, what I'm saying, kind of contribute to like my purpose. Um, so I don't want to tell this person to not to not focus on, you know, his his purpose. But I, I want to say focus on what makes you happy, so that you're more able to identify what your purpose may be later on. Right. Um, because I feel like so many people try to nail down what their purpose is so early that they get lost in not understanding like there's a lot that you could be doing for somebody or yourself that you may be limiting yourself to if you just gonna say this is my purpose right now this is what it that's okay too but the way I look at it bro is you have to be in a good place mentally for you to even you know think about your purpose Maybe you getting out of this and let's say he becomes like a really, you know, good motivational speaker over time because he can talk about something that he, uh, this dark time that he's in. Then yeah. he'll come back and be like, man, I didn't even realize it, but me just being able to talk was my purpose. Right. You may not see that until 10 years from now. So I don't know if that answered the question, bro, but and that's my thought. On I it. have nothing going for me in the future. It's um. I don't want to say push it, but you know what I'm saying? Just let it come. Yeah, yeah. You know There's I mean? always light at the end of the tunnel, bro. Just don't, don't want to force anything. You know? If something doesn't work out, that doesn't mean it's the end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? Just, you just never know. Just got to keep grinding. Exactly. Got to fold. Mmm. Okay. That's it. That's well, it. Outro. <laughs> let them do it. Appreciate it. <laughs> outro. Yeah, All right, man. Um, Those are pretty good questions. Those, were, those questions are actually better than the ones I get. No funny. I see, but I just get like, oh my God. No, but still though, those aren't bad questions. I don't get questions like that. So I gotta clap it up for you because that's, hey. that's big time. Appreciate y'all, man. Um, More content on the way. Um, Yo, I'm putting you on the spot. When the, when the next time you flying back out here? You can't just do this now and then, you know, just be gone forever. You said you wanted to train. I'm gonna yeah. put you in contact with Clay. We're gonna get you in some training videos because we got a lot to work on, my brother. Oh wow! I don't mean it like that. I mean you, you just got... said I'm whack. No, I didn't say that. You I think, think I'm I don't think you're whack, or I wouldn't offer you to train. Like I want <laughs> <laughs> you. You wouldn't hear from me ever again. Like at this point, I almost feel like I'm investing, and in, I want you to do well, bro. So I appreciate it, man. yeah, you gotta come back out here. You gotta train with us. You know, we can split that next flight. I ain't got a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? No, House. I, they gonna, I'm going to tell them too. Hey, no, I know, no, no, but I know you don't have a problem with it. Because, you know, four or five. No, because five, I know five, when you... You know what I'm saying? You thinking about this all wrong. When you make that million, I'm dead ass going to be like, <laughs> I need $500,000. <laughs> you not, you not. <laughs> That's the only you, reason. You, you like, not. I ain't a flight a couple hundred, but when you flip that bitch, bro, five hundred man. You not telling the people I done told you, but hey, I told them. I cut it off, man. Um, somebody asked when the EP dropping. Yep, that's the sign. <laughs> Yo, we out, man.